Welcome back everyone. It's day six of the springboard challenge, 31 days to your core. Today, flow. Flowing movement in Pilates is one of the six Pilates principles, flow or flowing movement. And it's all about how we can connect the dots between the exercises. I love all kinds of Pilates, but I will just say that traditional or classical Pilates that follows a specific order every time, what I do love about that is it really lends itself to flow. If you always know what comes next, then you know the specific transition to get from one exercise to the next, and therefore you shave off seconds connecting the dots between the exercises. From beginning to end, the full advanced reformer can look like a seamless dance. Now that doesn't matter to everyone and it doesn't have to. I tend to appreciate and attach to that kind of flowing movement because I came from a little bit of a dance background. But also these days there's a lot of talk about flow, like getting into flow. Athletes talk about it all the time, race car drivers. It's the sense that you're 100% focused on the task you have in front of you. You're not distracted by anything and time flies like that. I do feel like I get into a state of flow doing Pilates sometimes. You may feel like you get into a state of flow when you're playing with your kids or running or hopefully some other fun creative activity that you find time for in your life. So flow could mean that kind of rhythm with yourself as much as it could mean maybe flowing movement like in Pilates. So I can't wait to hear, I'm so excited to hear what flow means to you and what that word signifies. So um, let us know. Hope you have a great day today.